Hello, my name is Hannah and today I'm going to talk about the future development of events and how future trends in an area such as CSR can impact a company in the festival sector. CSR refers to a company's activities that demonstrate the inclusion of social and environmental concerns. It poses many benefits to a company such as brand reputation, workforce motivation and operational cost saving. Forecasting information for the future events is important in developing a sustainable company. But we first must question the authenticity of the information we are provided with. As event evaluations are often written by the event manager, the results could be a means of justifying their actions rather than evaluating them. Gets and Goldblatt define festivals as a public theme celebration that provide the opportunity to celebrate culture. The UK has seen a 71% increase in festivals held between 2003 and 2007, research indicating that the sector injects £1.1 billion into the economy. Festivals can play a key role in society by regenerating culture, placemaking and inspiring community involvement, but evidence shows that events and festivals like Lovebox have destroyed a 12 million revamp in Victoria Park. What was constructed for the benefit of the community now faces jeopardy due to lack of care from festival managers and attendees. Notting Hill Carnival can bring excellent placemaking and cohesiveness. There are increasing number of casualties and many public order offences every year. This suggests the idea of festivals benefiting a community culture comes from a tourist perspective, which questions just how much capital the festival industry contributes after the economy is had to pay out in services. With this in mind, Van Marwijk argues that corporate responsibility is the way of achieving corporate sustainability. Robinson explains responsibility is representing imputability, accountability and liability for actions. This suggests that if festival companies incorporate a CSR approach, it would positively impact on the sustainability of their company. The UK festival industry emissions, excluding travel, amount to 19,778 tonnes of CO2 per year, with over half the UK festival attendees criticising festivals' negative environmental impact, suggests that they will have to be more proactive and aware for the rising ethical consumer. Energy usage impacting the future of festivals is inevitable, as fossil fuels become more expensive and ultimately less accessible. The UK Climate Change Act commits the government to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2025. As the government is enforcing this, it is likely that all companies will have to monitor energy as standard contractual agreement. This is already being seen as in 2014, Shambhala Festival made the transition to 100% renewable power on site. This was achieved by introducing hybrid waste vegetable oil, solar power and generator efficiency measures. These steps have contributed to reducing its carbon footprint by 81%. Each type of activity enhances a festival's reputation in the eyes of potential attendees and may be the tipping point to convince people to buy a ticket. The Shambhala Festival have now won the internationally renowned Agrina Festival Award four times, with 48% of festival goers saying they would pay more to attend greener events, suggest that green competitors could impact on ticket sales. With this said, adopting a CSR marketing approach ineffectively can damage a business. In a world of technology, it allows companies to be seen transparently. Therefore, displaying a company as green when they are not employing the practices may leave them vulnerable to allegations of greenwashing. This in turn could be the tipping point for people to not buy a ticket. Camera describes reputations as strategic assets that create opportunity to have premium prices, improved employer loyalty and a protective cushion for when crisis hits. This is especially important when alongside competitors and sponsors, as they may find a company that include better treatment and policies. The industry holds 570,000 full-time equivalent jobs. Effective CSR can create a sense of belonging for these employees, improve motivation and higher company loyalty, thus leading to increased employer retention and the ability to meet company objectives. Employees and stakeholders will have a sense of pride when they are involved in a company that care about consumers, employees and the environment. So CSR policies in a company can be used effectively to meet the internal and external stakeholder demands. Positive impacts can be seen in customer satisfaction, employee motivation, or even the idea that they are helping build a sustainable future for the industry. 
Events provide unique experiences for human connectivity and have the potential to impact behaviour change. So perhaps a piece of the world is in event managers' hands.